guys, it's Figo here back with a new video and today we're going over the basics of the Warcraft 3 World Editor. This video is going to be a part of a new series called Warcraft 3 World Editor. In this one we're going over the World Editor itself and what options you have when you decide to make a new map. Before we start I want to make sure that you guys know I'm no pro at this editor. I know some of the basics and that is what I'm going to teach you guys today. All right. That said, let's jump right into the action. All right, guys, the first option we have is in the file tab. It is here we load, save, and create the terrain of our new maps. If we go into the new map option, it is going to look like this. It is here we create the very foundation of our map. We can choose the size and what tile set we want our map to be. In this one, we're going to choose the Northern tile set. Um, and I want the snow as the prime tile set. Boom. On the right hand side of the tab, there is something called initial cliff level. It can be changed from zero to 14, and the default setting is two. And this option changes the height of our map. If you want the map to be lower, change it to one, zero. If we want the map to be higher, change it to three and above. However, for the sake of this video, we're going to do the default setting too. You can also choose whether you want your map to be ground only, shallow water or deep water. When you are ready to create your map, press OK and it will generate it for you. Here we go. Alright guys, the next tab is edit. Here you can undo some of the decisions you made in regards to your map. The next tab is for you. Here you can choose what you want to see on your map. You have many options such as terrain, doodads, units and etc. You can also disable grids in this tab. All those squares you see on your map, those are called grids and those can be removed by, sim by simply going to the grid option and click on none. You can also lock your camera to the default game camera, going into Wii U, lock to game camera, and there you go. Next tab is layer. This is one of the toolboxes for the map, and we're going over it in the next video. It is here all the editing takes place. The next tab is scenario. Here you make this, the description of your map. You have some options to choose from. You can also choose the size and camera bounds, and it is here you make a loading screen to your map. If we go into the description, then it's gonna look like this, and we gotta fill out some boxes. Name is pretty simple. This is the name of your map. For an example, Windermall use Windermall, and Legion TD use Legion TD. And uh, I'm just gonna type test map. Test map -o. If we go into the Next one, it is uh, suggested players, and uh, I just tend to leave it at any. You can uh, change this from 1 to 12 if you want to, but I just leave it at any. The description bo box is the box under your map, and usually it describes what the map is about, not to be confused with the loading screen. It is not the description of the loading screen. Other is the creator of the map. I'm just gonna type test and test. If we go into the options tab, here you can choose what you want your map to be, like if you want any terrain frog and what kind of weather you want to have. I'm just gonna set northern light. Then you can go into the size and camera bounds to customize the boundaries of your map. How big is the map going to be? That is up for you to decide. I recommend you leave this at the default setting though. The next one is the loading screen one. Here you can choose what loading screen background you want. You just gotta go into the campaign screen setting, choose one of these, or you can use the default screen setting. I tend to use the campaign screen because then I can fill out the rest of this. Just gotta take this one. Screen title is, uh, is of course what title you want your map to be. I'm just gonna type test. Test 2, test 3. You can use the prefs if you want to. 
but I tend not to use this on any of my maps. These tabs are the simplest and most basic ones to use. Feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe in order to stay updated with the channel. The next part is going over the basics of the layer tab. It is here we create units and stuff. And now I'm just going to show you how this looks with the loading screen. That's it guys. Thank you all for watching. Nico here signing off until next time.